Hello, everyone. Welcome to another IFN interview. Today, we are joined by the one and only Juddy. What's good? What's good? What's good? <laughs> welcome, Juddy. Welcome to the IFN interview. Can you introduce yourself to the audience, my friend? Uh, everybody call me Yadi Big E. Everybody call me uh, Elida. For real, for real. All right. But... All right, I'll call you Eli then. All right, Eli, can you begin this interview by telling how you got into influencer boxing? Uh, it was recently. It was it was really random. I, but I've been I've been waiting on the call for real because I has I had seen uh Misfits. I don't I think I don't know who started it. But I'm like, I think it I think it was Dean a great fight. Somebody I'm like, oh, it's my time to shine because I'm like, oh, yeah. I got five. I'm already fighting, so I'm really just waiting on the call. You feel me? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was really, Mams hit me up random, and it was right before I was about to have my. I think it was like two weeks before I was about to have my pro debut in uh, in Arizona, so it was really random, bro. Amazed to hear, man. And uh, before your first match in influencer boxing, did you have any prior experience in boxing? Oh yeah, I had, I think I have about. 24 amateur fights, 24 amateur fights. Took 24. Damn. Yeah, yeah, 24. I've been boxing for about eight, nine years, bro. I started when I was in high school. I'm 26 now. That's very impressive, man. Very impressive. So can you uh, uh, talk to us about your training camp that you uh, took against your fight against Uncle Pizza? So that was a little tricky one, right? Because I was supposed to fight uh, this YouTuber, uh, Cray Cray. And uh, we was training against him. I actually still want that fight because I feel like I just one of the stones that, you know, God has to be, it has to be like, you know, like if he come in the influencer space, he has to come. Through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get that. But um, uh, what was your question again? How did the training camp for your uncle? Uh, oh. So a week or two weeks before the fight, I think it was like two two weeks. Mams told me that um, what's the name pulled out the fight, so mm -hmm. I didn't know who I was fighting at all. I think it was like yeah, I think it was like a week or something like that. So I didn't I didn't know who I was fighting. I didn't honestly didn't even think I was going to fight because he said he had to find a fighter. Mm -hmm. So then he um. He told me about Uncle Peace, and I'm like, who? It, it was it was either him or Wiley. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Just you know, if I fight, I fight anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just about to have my pro debut. You know, so I'm like, shoot, you gonna fly me out to beat somebody up? I'm waiting. Let's do it. You know? Yeah, great to hear. So, um, can you uh, talk to us about why you chose Uncle Pizza over Walid? No, I, I didn't choose anybody. Oh, I, I, mm -hmm. I gave him. Yeah, he he, he just. I said, it "Is what it is." I fight anybody. I, I don't duck oh, no smoke. Yeah. One thing about my camp, we don't duck no smoke at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get that. I get that. And with Uncle Pizza, did you know if he had any training uh, prior before the fight? Nah, we didn't. We didn't know who he was the first time. Me seeing him was uh, honestly when I saw. Him. So I'm like, I mean, like you having, a, you know, me having an amateur background. We adjust as we go. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know who you're fighting unless they have a, a really experienced background. Then you can look him up. But we didn't know who he was, so we like, you know. Yeah, but did you guys not maybe look at some old footage of him fighting on the IFL? Maybe. Uh no, I so when when Mam sent me uh the page, he didn't have nothing on his page. So what I did was like I went to like uh his what do you call him? Instagram. Uh, so you know how you go on Instagram, they got like where people was like kind of at you in videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had one boxing match, but that was like it was like eight months ago or something like that. He was just sparring in the street. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What's some dude? I'm like, so we had. We didn't really know what we was getting into, you know what I'm saying? Because eight yeah. eight months of training, you can have a whole different type of style, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we we really didn't know what we was getting into, you know. Yeah, and with the mystery behind the uh behind your opponent, 
how did you guys prepare for Uncle Pizza? Did you guys just prepare for uh, his uh, last performance or did you guys try to find something new? Sorry, say that again. Did you guys try to uh, train based on his last performance or did you guys um, prepare? Yeah, we, yeah, we was training for a, a left-hander. He was a, he was a right-hander. But what all we did was, it's like, okay, so the first round, we're going to see what we got. Like, that's why, like, at first, you just see, I was just boxing. I was just trying to see, like, okay, what do you, what did this dude, you know, really got? Like, he going to come hella crazy, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. that's why I was just moving to see, like, then when I figure out, okay, what he was trying to do, you know, go to the body, I'm like, okay, now nah, I know what to do, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. And with the uh, uh, fight you guys had, can you talk to us about the mouthpiece incident? Bro, honestly, me and the mouthpiece had a four-rounder after the fight. That wasn't recorded, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's okay, because <laughs> we got a new mouthpiece today, you know what I'm saying? So that's getting motivated and everything, so. Yeah, okay. Man, it, 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 was, it was irritating, man. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's a learning experience. That's all it is, you feel me? Yeah, and would you maybe rematch Uncle Pizza? Honest, yes, because I want to knock him out. That's my that, like we we really cool, but it's just it's 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 different level to it. Not saying that like I because I honestly think he would be Wally. I think he'd be a Wally, and and I think Dean great. There it would be a good fight between him and him and Dean. But I think he'd be Wally, and I think he actually beats Dean. Dean got a little bit more skills than him. But yeah, he was he was a really really good opponent because he had the right game plan. One thing about me, I really don't get hit in the face like that. The only way you can come close to me is you have to hit the body because you're not gonna hit me in the face. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the best defense, but my defense is really good. You know what I'm saying? I move yeah. my head a lot, so you have to go to my body. You know? But that's that. As you can see, it still really wasn't stopping nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, your uh, work on the inside was definitely very good. You had some very nice uppercuts on the inside. Thank and, you, thank you. And that's where my next question uh, was coming from. What did your coaches tell you in the corner between the rounds? Because we as viewers couldn't see it. We only saw Uncle Pizza's corner. Mm -hmm. uh, he was just telling me. So first, like I said, we, we the first round was really just a box to see like what we, what we got. You know, um, if he didn't have any fights, we were hoping, okay, second round, if he don't have no fights, because we don't know if he really a fighter like that, he might get, you know, uh, tired in the second round. Yeah. So we like, okay, so we're going to let him, you know, gas himself out second round, you know, we don't, you know, start to turn up mm -hmm. type of thing. So I think, I, well, let me see, what did he say the second round? I think second round, he told me to pour, kind of pour on him more because he, he was saying that he couldn't, like, catch me. So he's like, okay, now don't just counter her with one. Like, you got to count her with, like, two or three punches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. And um, uh, with this fight um, done, what are you uh, guys preparing for for your next fight at the moment? Well, honestly, we were we ready for anybody. <laughs> like, honestly, I, like, I don't know. Well, Vic Fish, it's like you just, you never know what's next. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. might fight, fight a cartoon character. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who, who I might fight. Like, like uh, so it's, just, it, it's, it's like, I, don't, I honestly want to fight Chase, the, the heavyweight or whatever. I don't know how much, how much he weigh because he was talking stuff after my fight. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. Like, because you big doesn't doesn't mean anything to me. You know what I'm saying? You can really, we can really get in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't duck no smoke, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but um no, nah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. I honestly want I want cray cray. And if I can fight, if I if I can fight Dean, man, that's good. But it, it, it but it really doesn't matter. Really, really doesn't matter. All right. And um who would you prefer to fight next? Like who do you want to fight? Like, yes, I want to beat him up first. Who would he have in mind? So, like, so honestly, I do want to fight Dean, but I understand that he paved his way to get up there. You know what I'm saying? So I got that respect, like, that's from a boxer standpoint. So for me, it is I would want to fight 
Probably I, I would want to get the knockout with with um with um a uncle pizza, bro. Yeah, I would I would really want to get that knockout with Uncle Pizza. Yeah. And are you guys still cool after the pizza throwing incident? Yeah, we talk we damn we damn near talk every day, bro. Yeah, that's that's my dude. That's my dude. But yeah. it's like it's like it's it's different with boxing, like Y'all can be the coolest friends, but once it's time to go, it's just time to go. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's like you, you not, you kind of not the same person when you in that ring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, because at the end of the day, y'all both putting your life in the line. One hit, we can be, you know what I'm saying? Stuttering type of thing, you know? Yeah, that's understandable. And would you guys um, maybe publicly just hang out together, maybe share some pizza together? Facts. I told him we're gonna do a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him we're gonna do a video. Yeah, that's no, he 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 cool. Like I said, like I think boxing is the only sport. I think any combat sports you can it's cause you selling it, you sell setting everything, selling everything in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. a, a gentleman sport, you know what I'm saying? Cause no a lot of people ain't gonna get in the ring. It takes a lot of cojones to get in the ring, man. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot, man. For real, for real. Yeah, and my last question on your fight was, did you have any uh, nerves building up coming to the fight? Uh, yeah, it was because it was my it was my pro debut. And, you know, I would have been under the lights, but once I got in the ring, I just dialed in. Like, I don't know, I I, I just dialed in. I was like, bro, this is this. Is, I don't know. It was a it was a crazy feeling, like me getting to the ring. But once I got in there, I was like, okay. Yeah, you know, because the biggest thing, like, why I like Memphis Boston is like, is this is pay per view or it's on YouTube. So at any time, if you got kids or if you got family members, they can look your name up and that's there forever. So you think I'm about to get on national TV or you know what I'm saying or YouTube yeah. and get my nah nah. You can that's all that's going through my head. I was like, bro, you got me messed up. Let me look at that, when Daddy used to fight. Getting his butt beat. No, that wasn't going to be me at all, my friend. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I respect you know that mentality. I respect that mentality, bro. And everyone would love to see the collaboration between you and Uncle Pizza, for sure. Facts. Facts. Bro, Facts. Be no, honestly, like, honestly, like, I honestly, I was glad that I fought Uncle Pizza because he made it, he made it very interesting, man. He made it very interesting. I, I like how he came up with that character like so fast. You know what I'm saying? And then he played his part. I love the, you know what I'm saying? He gave me ideas that I, I should do like next time I fight. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if we do fight again, it's just gonna be fireworks. Fireworks, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. And I was like, once I start winning, that's when I'm gonna start calling out every fight. Cause I ain't, man, I'll be 135, 140, 145 and fight anybody. Anybody. anybody, bro. When I say anybody, bro, I'm a fighter. Like honestly, it's I think I think a lot of like real boxers, like this is all we do. Like we like people like my coach be trying to uh get me to like take off and have a, like a little vacation. Next day I'm back in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just it's it's like you know have, have you ever heard the saying like no boxing no life? Um yeah sometimes. Yeah, so that's literally what it is. So it's like. After a fight, yeah, you take a couple of days off, but it's like, okay, what am I do? You know what I'm saying? Watch TV. You feel me? That's boring. Like, no, let's get in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. And if you were down to fight on 145, there's a new uh, fighter around the block uh, who's down to make his Misfits debut. I don't know if you know about him. His name is Fes Batista. Have you heard? Of, have you heard about him? Fes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not at all. Okay. No, but I'm I'm signing contracts. You'll sign. I'm contract? signing contracts. One forty five is actually worse because the more the more more weight I gain, I'm already I'm not I'm a I'm a big one. I'm a really big one thirty five. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I make the weight I make the weight easy. But I'm a big one thirty five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the more weight I I put on, that's because my body work is tremendous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I you know I really couldn't do too much. Cause you know, pizza was holding hella, but my body work is tremendous. And the taller you are, it's it's, it's gonna be okay. You know what I'm saying? Dialed in for real. 
Yeah, and which uh, mischief event would you be uh, looking to uh, to returning back to? Hopefully the next one. I well, what's the? I mean, I'm trying to. I'm I'm trying to go to London. I want to see what the cats over here talking about. I'm trying to go to London. I want to see what y'all talking about. You from London, right? Nah, bro. I'm from the Netherlands. Oh, for real? Yeah, bro. I know that, bro. No, no. Oh, it's not. And it's nice to meet you, bro. I appreciate this opportunity, bro. No, bro. It's all to have you, dude. I, I, I like your videos, man. You putting in that work, bro. Keep doing Thanks. your thing, man. Thanks, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. You putting in that work. They yeah. don't see it, but I see it with the cross eye. Yeah. 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 All right, so um, I had uh, two more questions for you, my friend, and one of them was, what would be your ultimate goal in this influencer boxing scene? Uh, so I think I want to take, honestly, I think I'm always, I'm always fight for Misfits just because it's, it's, it's a, I'm an actor, I'm, you know, I'm an entertainer, but after, after these three fights, two more fights, I'm a, you know, cause I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do some misfit stuff, but I actually wanna, you know, take it seriously with pro boxing and and, yeah. and make my name great in that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you know, once people really know that I can box and stuff, you know, get the fans from that, then I'm gonna take it to the, you know, the next level of boxing. You know what I'm saying? And call some fighters out, out of there. And, cause the biggest thing is just like, just like you, you just wanna, you know, you gonna put your all into, you know what's happening now and, and see how far you can go. You know, we nobody know how far you can go, but you know, as 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 human beings, we gonna, you know, put our all into it and just see how far we can go. And I think I got what it takes to, you know, be, you know, one of the greats, you feel me? So um yeah, I'm gonna do these two fights. And whenever Misfits call me again, I'm a, I'm a all I'm gonna stay ready. I'm still I'm he can call me tomorrow. I'm I'm on wait. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, make sure I knock out these guys, and then I'm gonna call somebody in, in, in real pro boxing, and you know, you know what they're gonna say? Oh, you fucking a TikToker, and that's when you know you gotta start the journey all over again. You feel me? Yeah, I understand that. I mean, we love to hear this. I wish you good luck with your uh, career, man. And Thank you. My last question was, what would be your top three influencer boxers at the moment, pound for pound? Uh, number one, me. Uh, number two, I say, uh, saw Poppy. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say number, number, okay, number one, me, number two, Jake Paul, number three, saw Poppy. Okay, because you know, Jake Paul, Jake Paul paid the way, he yeah. paid, he, 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 he put. People got to put get him with his. He paved the way, and he and he fighting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he, he makes some business with it, so you got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Like I've asked this question uh, multiple times already, and no one put themselves in the top three. So you're the first one to do this. I love your pop, <laughs> bro. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Cause it. At the end of the day, if you don't think you're the best, then you ain't gonna make it far in this. Exactly. Or you're just not taking it serious, and that's gonna get exploited. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. we staying ready, so we ain't gotta get ready. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate this opportunity, man. I love your work, man. Anytime you wanna call me, we can do it, all right? Well, of course, man. You're always welcome to be here. And that's where uh, we will be wrapping up this interview, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to. That uh, Elijah on every single platform, follow him, like everything, comment everywhere, and we'll see you guys next video, guys. See you. Hey.